In AWS, to access Linux instances, you need the key file instead of password. AWS allows you to download the key file only once. If you lose the key file, you will not be able to connect to the instance. In this video, I am going to explain how you can restore access to your instance even if you don't have the key file. First of all, you need to create a new instance in the same availability zone as the original instance where you lost the key file. Here I am creating a new instance the name of instance as key recovery then uh, configure security group I'm just opening port 22 SSH access to the instance so that I can connect to this instance and manage it. Click on review and launch. And the key file prod web key is the key file I lost. So I'm going to create a new key file with the name key recovery, recovery key. and uh, downloading this new key pair, the recovery key pair. And uh, now I'm going to launch this instance. This is the recovery instance. So I have now uh, two instances, prodweb, that is the instance where which I lost the key file and the key recovery is the instance which I am using as the recovery instance to recover the lost key file of production web server. trying to SSH to the recovery instance using the recovery key. Okay, I am able to access the recovery instance now. So the process is to detach the EBS volume, the root volume of the instance where you lost the key file and uh, attach it to the recovery instance. For that, we need to stop the instance. So I'm going to stop the instance, the production web server instance now. So once this instance is stopped, I am going to the EBS volume, the root EBS volume of this instance and uh, I'm going to detach the EBS volume from this instance. Okay, yes, detach. And uh, once it is detached, I'm going to attach this volume as a secondary volume to the recovery instance. Click action and attach volume. And here I select the recovery instance and uh, I choose slash dev slash SDF as the device that will be the secondary device, secondary volume to of that recovery instance. Okay, once attached, just verify the volume is attached to the recovery instance now. Yes, it is attached as a secondary volume. Now you can see that slash dev slash SDF. Now I'm going to connect to this instance through SSH with the recovery key.
and sudo minus i to become the root okay i'm going to create uh, a mount point i'm going to mount the secondary volume to list the attached devices i use the command lsblk and i'm creating a mount point directory that is slash mnt slash recovery all right now mount the secondary volume to slash mnt slash recovery lsblk once again and mount slash dev slash xvdf1 that's the device name slash mnt slash recovery all right the device is now mounted all right now the next process is to append the authorized key files dot ssh authorized key file so i am going to append the authorized key files with the value from this recovery instance so basically i am updating the uh, the production web server authorized the key file with the key value of the recovery instance all right it has been uh, appended the the key file entry has been made there now unmount the secondary ebs volume now all right the volume has been unmounted and stop this instance Okay, now I'm going to stop this recovery instance. Okay, the instance is now stopped. Now I will detach the secondary volume from the recovery instance. Select, click on the block device slash dev slash sdf. Click on action and detach volume. Once the volume is detached, attach the volume back to the production web server as the root volume select prod web server okay and the device name should be slash dev slash x v d a click on attach all right the volume has been attached now you can start the original instance the production web server instance select that instance action instance state start okay yes start all right the instance is getting started yeah the instance is now switched on powered on and started now you will be able to SSH access this instance using the recovery key. SSH minus I recovery key dot pem EC2 user that's the username and uh, the IP address public IP address of the production web server instance. There you go, you are now able to access the instance with the recovery key.